WebStorm is awesome. One of my favorite features is run configurations, which lets you run and debug JavaScript code. UI code is easy enough to debug in the browser, but something like Node.js server code is often challenging to debug. With run configurations, we can debug our code locally and use breakpoints instead of having to console log everything. Here we have a simple node server using Express. To set up the run configuration, we'll click the down caret in the top right corner of WebStorm, and then choose Edit Run Configurations. There are some defaults that WebStorm provides. We can see some examples like Gulp, Karma, Mocha, but the most commonly used default is Node.js. So we'll click on the plus icon in the top left and add a new configuration and choose Node.js. First we'll name it. In this case, server makes sense. We'll have the option to choose the node interpreter, and if you're running ES6 server code, you'll probably end up choosing a local Babel node binary. Working directory just specifies the root directory for the server. And this is important because relative paths will rely on this. JavaScript file is the entry point to our server, in this case server.js. We can click the three dots to browse to the file, and notice that it's relative to the given working directory. We can also add environment variables. Node env equals production is a really common one if you're testing your production setup. For now, we'll just keep things simple and save with these basic settings. Now we can see our named run configuration in the top right. You can click the icons in the top right to run or debug, or use Control R to run and Control D to debug. In debug mode, we can add breakpoints by clicking the space between the line number and the code. We'll add breakpoints to the internal logic of our post user route and run in debug mode. When we hit Control D, we can see that our server is running on port 3000, which reflects our app.listen code here. Now we'll switch to Postman to make a request. We're posting to port 3000 as slash user, which is the route we've set up. And for now, we'll just send name in our new user object. We see that we hit our first breakpoint. From here, we can evaluate expressions and inspect available variables. You can either hover until a pop-up displays and click to see more, or evaluate expressions using the icon that looks like a calculator. And then we can type something like rec.body and see what the body contains. Since our payload did not include an ID, we see that we fail this check and get a 400 response. And this is reflected in Postman with a 400 response and the no user ID message. So we'll add an ID to our payload and submit another request. And now we see that rec.body.id is defined, so we end up sending a 200 response with the message new user saved. This is a really simple example, but it demonstrates that run configurations can make debugging server code much easier. There's also a lot more that can be done with run configurations, but for now, this is the basic knowledge you need to start using run configurations today.